In camp at Irans is full on, right from 6.30 in the morning to when they fall asleep at night. Waking up first thing, players have to fill in their diary, taking their weight, their heart rate, recording all their nutrition, hours that they sleep. They then go into physio, that happens on a daily basis, cover off all those injuries, breakfast, and then they cover off a whole range of different modules throughout the day. Technical, tactical, the skills of the game are really important. Unit skills, team skills, attack, defence. But there's some other really important areas as well. Nutrition, which is very important. Mental skills, leadership, team cohesion. Ultimately, they're building through the week to be the best that they can be when it comes to game time. We create a competitive environment, which I think is really, really important. I mean, after you've been here a couple of weeks on the high performance course, players have become far more confident. They know they've got great support all around them, and I think that's when they really do grow. Well, mental toughness, it's something that we don't think about a lot as players, but we do loads of work on it here at Irons and just the, the importance of it in a game. I just thought we'd be chucking a ball around a lot here, but there's been so much classroom work in terms of getting all that off-field stuff right. And if you become mentally stronger as a player, it doesn't matter how many, how good your pass is or how much you can bench press, that's going to improve you a lot more as a player. You've got to keep on pushing them, really pushing them. And the more you push them, the more they realise there's more to give yet and there's more growth to come and to create that environment is absolutely paramount. A really important part of the learning is for the coaches actually to be working with the players, watching the players as individuals. They'll all have strengths and work-ons. And if the player and the coach has the right attitude and they want to learn what our job is to help them build more character. So character at the end of the day is a vital part of the team component, whether you're a coach or a player. Coaches actually get to observe not only the staff coaches working with the players, but they'll get an opportunity to profile them, work with them in different drills and skills and activities. So it's a really busy time for the coaches as well. We see players growing right in front of our eyes. I think we've got a perfect environment here. It was designed specifically to do what we're doing. And by the time that each course finishes, you really do see a united group of people working together uh, to get the best possible result. I'm a massive believer in creating learning environments for people to get better. Mental schools are a big part of developing character in players and letting them develop their own personalities as their confidence grows. I'm a massive believer now, after 50 years of doing it, that if you don't have authenticity as a coach, if you don't coach as the person you are, you will not be successful and for quite a time I lost my way. Of course we bring in the right sort of people that know how to help and how to lead and how to create this growth. Uh, it's all about growth. I like to think we're not just a national academy, we're an international rugby academy which right from the start we opened up our doors to foreign applications with our players or coaches. It didn't really worry us but the most important thing was that knowledge is not exclusive to any sector. Uh, and we wanted to engage internationally. When I see that honours board now, and I see the, the flow of countries that players and coaches have come from, uh, it makes me proud actually. It's probably the satisfaction that keeps me going. But, uh, I'm sure that if you come to an Irons course, you're gonna be a better man when you leave. You learn so much from it in three weeks and it just makes you so much, not just as a better player, but as a better person as well. You know, our ambition of course is to get great rugby players at the end of the day, uh, great team players at the end of the day, and that's that's the target. We were talking about it before actually, about you dumbing and going in this when you scored that try. But you know, there's a difference between knowing knowledge and being able to pass it on where others can accept it. Um, and I think that's important. So identification of those people, those good people that have that great attribute is very, very significant. When we started with IRNs, the whole goal was to get 18 years of age plus, uh, the best young rugby players we could find anywhere in the world that wanted to be champions. And that was the target. And then I realised that there weren't so many 18 year olds that were ready for this level of expertise and the volume of expertise that's been passed on. And so we moved down, we went 16 to 18, and then we went 13, 15, and believe it or not, we're now doing 11 to 13. And if you can get a guy on the right track at 11, 12, 13 years of age, it's a lot easier. And we see several people coming through from young groups to medium to high performance. And generally, if a guy goes to Iran three times, he's going to be a successful rugby player. Otherwise, he wouldn't have come back. You know, so he'll make it. He'll become a professional player. From a coach's perspective, 
The people that come here are students of the game, people that want to grow and get better. And I think the first couple of days in an IRN's course, because it's real time and we've got a real time example, which is totally different from a theoretical environment. And we have to bring this whole mob together into a really productive unit. And coaches who are on the course realise there's a formula to do that. And every coach is different. And every coach has got to have his own template to cater his personality and his strengths. And I think that's a big thing about the High Performance Coaches courses. All coaches go away from here with a template that they'll have for the rest of their life, which they'll adjust from week after week after week. And eventually, will they get the perfect way of doing it? Maybe, maybe it's unobtainable, I don't know. But that's the objective. Both players and coaches underestimate what it takes. And I think when you go through a program, you soon realise, hey, there's so much more to this than meets the eye. It's just not running around with a ball or with a whistle saying, let's, let's do some line outs. It's all about applying yourself and having the ability to apply yourself in the moment, living in the moment and performing in the moment. And it doesn't matter whether you're a coach or a player. And uh, when I hear team talks on television, and I hear the coach rattling off things you know, there's 11, 12, 13 different messages and it's really clear that players can absorb two, maybe three. Um, and it's just simple things like that that become so obvious to a coach and a player.